Sosa with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? It's that dreaded time of the season. Texas, the Grim Reaper. Um, now, keep in mind, I am not a certified public accountant. I am here as entertainment and educational purposes only. If you have any doubt about your crypto taxes, be sure you talk to a tax professional. So, I'm using HR Block and Coin Tracker. So, I went ahead and signed up for Coin Tracker so I could um, analyze my Coinbase and other exchanges and basically just try to come up with some numbers for 2020 from my Coinbase. Now, you may have to consolidate multiple exchanges and stuff like that. So, you know. Um, Coin Tracker does allow you to add wallets as well as um, exchanges, but I'm just doing Coinbase for information purposes. So um, basically, you connect it to your account, you sign up. I signed up for the $99 package and um, let her rip, and let's just see what it can do. So basically, you have a dashboard, you have your wallets, portfolio, and then of course, taxes so you click on taxes tax center and what you scroll down what you'll find is you have IRS compliant forms now here's the bad news if you used H&R Block you're kind of up shit's Creek <laughs> um, TurboTax online TurboTax CD download and tax act support direct imports of the reports which makes your life a lot easier um, but you know, what are you going to do today? I'm going to show you how, how I'm entering it on my H and R block. And like I said, I will probably have my accountant review it for accuracy after I'm done. So what you need to know is there's CSV and there's IRS forms. I found the best form to be the condensed IRS 8949. So basically this will group out wash sales and consolidate lines so that you don't have so many transactions. Like I did some of the earn and learn stuff on Coinbase and I had gains there. So basically you need to account for those. Now I'm assuming all of these are short term gains. So I went ahead and generated this report and then out pops this um, report that has all of your transactions. And it makes me cry at how cheap I got ETH and I sold it for a $50 profit. Wrecked. Um, anyways, so this is a list of transactions and proceeds. Now, the tricky part. When you actually open up your H&R Block software, the next question is, where do you go to enter these? What I found is if you're on the federal tab, you go ahead and click on income and then you're going to scroll down and it's not stocks and bonds okay it is sales of collectibles or other investment property so this is where the crypto goes and then what i think this does is it transports this to form um 8949 by going through the worksheet so basically what you have to do is you go to okay and then um, like I said I'm just getting started and then you tell us about your sale collectible or other capital assets so the correct way is not to enter this um, in the stock area of of H&R block from what I've read but again consult with your tax professional to ensure so you hit add sale and like I said I had my um, 8949 over here so let's go actually go back so that was ETH so I'm gonna edit this so I'm gonna do a new one so I had I'm just rounding to the second decimal 43.02 um, the dates aren't even really important because it's just short term so what you'll find is you want to put var s okay and then I got to go back, let's shrink this down a little bit. So, yeah, cost basis was 1198. 
date sold, not important. Sale price, okay. And it was 1048. There was no crude market discounts or any other special circumstances. And I hit next. And then as you can see, my capital gains on that was minus two. So if I hit finished, and then I go to forms, and I search for 89.49, you can see that the software has automatically started transcribing my crypto um, transactions into the form 8949 which matches up with the 8949 that I got from coin tracker so again keep in mind if you know you could just print this and give it to your accountant as well if you're not doing your own taxes but um, that is pretty much it that's all um, it's not as complicated as I thought it would be um, like I said it is a little bit of a pain in the butt um, if you did H&R Block, but then you just have to go through and add all this stuff. And like I said, these were due soon, so it's going to be a long night. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit. As always, like, subscribe. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.